So the first thing you want to do is click on Windows R on your keyboard and when it pops up you type temp. So as you probably figure this folder contains temporary files that don't get deleted when the job is done. So just select all of them and delete them. If this shows up, check if any apps are running on your computer, close them and then try again. We click on Windows R again, type percent %10% and do it all over again. For some of these files you'll need permission from admin. So the next thing you want to type in this pop-up is msconfig. You go to services, check hide all Microsoft services and click on disable all. I mean, for example, you don't need Lenovo notebook, ITS or anti-cheat. So just disable that. So the second step you want to do is go to task manager and click on start it. You should disable all apps you don't want to start running when you turn on your computer. For example, I keep OneDrive because all of my backups are there and I'm always using them. But I disabled Opera Assistant because I don't use that. The third thing is you go to search, type check for updates, see if your windows is up to date, if it's not download and update. For the fourth step, you go to search and type control panel, click on programs and then programs and features. So here you want to uninstall all programs you're not using because sometimes when you uninstall some app or a program it doesn't get deleted completely. So you need to come here and uninstall by right clicking and choosing uninstall. For the fifth step you go again to search and type storage settings. You should turn on the storage sense and then click on configure storage sense. Now you check delete temporary files. I set storage sense to run during low free disk space, but you can change that to daily, weekly or even monthly. You should probably try it out and figure out which one works best for you. Then we scroll down and click on clean now. For the sixth step, you search for disk cleanup and everywhere where it's written temporary, you check that because then they are temporary files and we don't need them. And also check recycle bin, then click on cleanup system files and after that delete them. Go and search for defragment and optimize drives and now keep in mind that you should only optimize if you have a hard drive, not SSD. Here you need to select your drive and click on analyze. Unfortunately I can show you because I have SSD but if it shows it's below 5% then it's fine but if it's above then you should click on optimize. You can also change schedule, I would recommend weekly and check on increase task priority so you can just put it aside every time. And don't forget to actually choose which drive you want to optimize. For 8th step you search for notifications and action settings. 
So for this one, I unchecked get tips and tricks about Windows and I didn't want my notifications to play sound, but you can pretty much customize this one, see what you don't need. When you scroll down, you'll see all these apps and just figure out what notifications you wouldn't or don't want to receive. The next thing is we search for privacy settings, go to location and turn that off if you're not using it and if you decide to keep it on, you can choose which apps can access your precise location and what I do is click on clear notification history because first I don't need it and second I just don't want to keep that. Then go to camera, I disable that one also, I mean come on, little privacy, but if you keep it on you you can select which apps can access your camera. Now go to notification and as in previous ones, if you decide to keep it on, you can choose which apps you want to receive notifications from. And the last one is background apps. I personally don't need alarms, camera, solitaire, maps, mail, people, voice, tips and etc. See what you don't use and uncheck that because you don't want unnecessary apps running in the background. The last step is you search for game mode settings and if you're not playing any games, disable it. Then go to Xbox game bar and also turn off this one. Last thing is you go to captures and if you're not recording any games, just turn off recording also mic.